Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Rohde and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rock Star. <laughs> Let's try a different performer. Have we ever heard of a man by the name of Ren? No. This is my next episode with Donald Diaz. Donald Diaz is a friend of mine. His father is Denny Diaz, founder of Steely Dan. Donald's a pretty good guitar player in his own right, and I see him play regularly. I like the dude. You guys can find out more about his music if you're intrigued in doing so. On SoundCloud, his name is Iron Snarf. Or you can find them on both Twitch and Discord. The name is Midnight Munchies Manifesto. <laughs> Anyhow, let's jump in this together. He had never heard of Ren, and I am happy to change that. Let's see what he thinks about Ren. Okay, so this is a dude named Ren, all right? So uh, all Ren right. is, uh, he's, out, he's out of England. He grew up in England, okay? And Do you, you know who Justin Hawkins is? He's a big podcast. Just, okay, so Justin Hawkins rides again. He's a big podcast, and I know he op- he he definitely brought in Ren's following. And so a friend of mine sent me this video, and oh man, I thought it was fantastic. So I don't want to change your feelings on it, but I, I feel pretty comfortable that you're going to be impressed with this dude, especially as a guy who plays a lot of instruments and mm-hmm. truly loves music. So there you go. Now, this is my whole caveat. If you don't like it, I'll give you a hard time. But no, you can tell me the truth afterwards. But nonetheless, let's jump into this and let, let's uh, see what you think, Donald. All right. Before we jump into everything, do you see why I picked it? It's kind of your playing style, right? I I I love it. I love what he's doing with these nylon strings. Uh, that is an old headstock. Uh, <laughs> that is an old guitar. Uh, I I love it. That's a really nice instrument he's holding there. Also, this is the perfect video to open Halloween with. <laughs> Not Halloween, oh, okay. but October. You know. There we go. See, it was all of October is Halloween for me. But that sound of that guitar, I've heard you play like this, like this. So mm-hmm. I, I know you like this kind of stuff. So anyway, okay, sorry. Let's get back in the video. Bro, I know you need me You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd Not your place to lead me Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me Hi, Bren I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself Since my therapist told me I'm ill And I've been making some progress lately And I've learned some new coping skills So I haven't really needed you much, man I think we need to just step back and chill Bren, you sound more insane than I do You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to Okay, take another pill, boy Drown yourself in the sound of white noise Follow this ten-step program, rejoice All your problems will be gone Fucking dumb boy Nah, mate This time is different, man, trust me I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kinda doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered 
For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk man Cause when you're with me it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we We are one, split in two, that makes one So you see, you gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting And the people who find it, respect it And for me that's enough Cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song About how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material Ren, mate, we've heard it all before Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore Fuck you, I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius and I will be great and I will make waves and I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you, say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> Newsflash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden I am the reason for treason Beheading all kings I am sin With no rhyme or reason Son of the morning Lucifer anti-cry Father of lies Mustopheles truth in the blender Deceitful pretender The banished avenger The righteous surrender When standing in front of my solar eclipse My name is stitched to your lips So you see I won't bow to the will of a mortal Feeble and normal You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal I live in every decision That catalyzes chaos That causes division I live inside death The beginning of end I am you, you are me, I am you, friend Hi, Ren I've been taking some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawned Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also, some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch your shade So cower at the man I've become, when I sing from the top of my lungs that I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a coin to different sides <laughs>
When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. What do you got to say, Donald? What do you think? That was fucking profound. It, it is. Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, I thought I was going to come into that into like some like just like spooky kind of uh, vibe. Uh, but uh, hold on. My dog. All right. He's just outside barking. He's fine. Um, sorry. No. Um, just the display of psychosis in his performance talking to himself uh the way he was playing the way that his music slowly started just to become more and more unhinged as it progressed further and further in it just the way he's playing matching the buildup of psychosis in his brain just the battle between himself and then just him putting the guitar down and just that message he just dropped at the end you literally just right now have introduced me to one of my new favorite performers I was mesmerized the first time too. I I I I finished and I'm like, you're such a good wordsmith. Yeah. I don't know how to put into yeah. good words how awesome you are. <laughs> so. That was that was just honestly just absolutely fantastic. Also, um, this is, I made a comment on his guitar earlier, and I was I thought on it, and I was like, that's not necessarily true. Uh, that headstock of his, you, you don't see that in the steel string guitars anymore. But he's playing a nylon guitar, so it makes sense that his his guitar has that. He has a very nice instrument. Um, but that just wanted to correct myself on that. But that oh, yeah. said, just wow, uh, this guy was absolutely next level. How long has this guy been around for? So a little while. He's actually did. He was a street busker and he did quite mm -hmm. a bit in the streets. And some of that stuff's online too. And it's cool. There's like some Mar a Bob Marley one that's mm -hmm. really cool to watch and whatnot. So he he spent some time in the streets and then he did quite a bit of videos that I still haven't seen. He's actually got quite a few, but I've been watching all his stuff since he did this video. And uh, he has some other awesome stuff. This is the whole point of this. And people say, you should have played this song. You should have played that song. I, I'm just trying to open the door <laughs> to a lot of my friends to be like, this guy's good. Check him out. You know, so Ren actually does have a new album coming out like any day that he's been putting a lot of time into. And I, I urge you and everybody else, but check it out. There's um, some I, stuff, Donald. So. Oh, I'm, I'm going to share this and uh like this guy's music with all my friends right now like it's when whenever we me and me, you finish having our good time like i'm going to be yeah you gotta listen to this it's amazing Watch. It, it was incredible uh because i used to work at a spooky house for a while and like that that like for eight years i worked at a haunt uh and one of the characters i would play would be like one of these guys that would just yell at himself back and forth and oh. just, just yeah yeah so but just seeing that applied to music was i've never seen anything like that before oh, i'm uh, glad you liked it yeah yeah 
Okay, so in an effort to get to know you a little bit better, so the spooky okay. house vibe or whatever. So one of the questions I used to do a lot of these interviews on here, and so I, I asked people a couple questions always, and one of them was, you know, what was the the craziest gig you ever worked, the, the oddest circumstance, the lineup that was sort of like, why am I even here? Is there any that come to mind that you're kind of, uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> what um, you- so um, I, I mentioned earlier, I'll mention again, uh, outside of the space that you initially met me in. I do music in virtual reality. Now, all the musicians there, but they won't be as familiar to you as they are to me because they use usernames, excuse me, blah, blah, blah. But there are a couple of musicians in this space that I myself idolize as like top-tier performers. Um, I could present their names. One of them is being Adzi Slayer, the other being uh, Lydian Melody. Um, and these folks... Uh, were in that lineup with me. Uh, the show that I did recently, it's what was brought to my attention as being the biggest musical event in uh, VR. And they were like, yeah, there's good to be Disney executives and Sony executives sitting in on the stream watching. So I, good luck. I'm like, okay. Um, but it was something called VR Ket. Just to, I, I don't know this world. So quick mm-hmm. question would be, so are What's you up? watching a person? in in the vr glasses or yeah so i i have this on my head while i'm performing i don't look at my guitar when i play so it it works for me um so but i i'm not i'm not seeing you when i put it you're not going to see me no okay no i i my i have an avatar that represents me in this space so i i have a complete veil of anonymity between me and the people that are watching me so i can like be super popular in this space and then just boop, take it off and no, I'm not that person anymore, which is oh. pretty cool. Yeah. All right. That's unusual. That's really, that's pretty yeah. neat. I haven't had that one. That's cool. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I can go a little deeper into that though, just a bit. Uh, I discovered it uh, when the pandemic happened and all music just went, and you couldn't see a show anywhere. I got this headset with, you know, that steaming this money they were hitting us with and, stumbled onto this open mic community and it's it's honestly something i would recommend checking out to everybody at least once it's just like if ever you want live music and you're just at home you can't go any place you know there's a whole community of people in there in the that online space it? so it's inside of this game called vr chat um which some people might hear that name and be like oh, vr chat there's you know there's a lot of trolly aspects to the game that if you're not looking for the right thing, you're not going to find it. Uh, I was looking for this, so I found it. But in that space, uh, there's just tons and tons and tons of groups and communities and performers and hosts and showrunners. And there's a lot of a lot of really cool things that go on in that space. But yeah, you would it's a free free to download game, and you yeah. would just get in there. You don't even need a headset to to be there. You can just be on your desktop. That's cool, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's all modern. New. All right. Right on. Cool. All right. Let's switch up the vibe here. I'm going to take you over to Japan. Have you ever heard of a band called Love Bites out of Japan? Four for four. (laughs) Okay. No. All right. Let's jump into that and we can see what you think of of the ladies in Japan here. Let's give it a go. All right. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.